Russian VHS tape. You know how much this is worth? It's worth nothing. <laughs> it's worth nothing. That tape is worth nothing. However, the tapes I'm going to show you are VHS tapes that are worth something. VHS tapes that you can sell for money on Amazon FBA. Let's get into it. Yes, Black Diamond VHS tapes are essentially worthless. You may have seen them sell for like 10 grand on eBay. Those are just jokes. No one's paying that. These tapes, though, are worth money. And no, this is not one of those videos where I say, here's 10 insanely rare VHS tapes that you'll never find. These tapes are ones that I found at a thrift store. Anyone can find them. We're going to go through them one by one, show what they're worth on Amazon FBA, and more importantly, look into why they're worth money. Here is our first tape. It takes two, Mary Kate and Ashley. Now, why is this worth money? Well, they're not making them anymore. It's kind of hard to find Mary Kate and Ashley DVDs. And so if you want to watch this, your best bet is on VHS. And that's going to be a common theme. Childhood videos on VHS. I'm going to look up afterwards what they're worth. I didn't memorize uh, what it was. So we'll see right here. There, the value, the screenshot using Profit Bandit, the, the app I use. Even though I said it, I guarantee you there's going to be like 10,000 people who ask, what app is that? It's Profit Bandit. Here it is. Next tape. Scooby-Doo, Cyber Chase. Again, same deal. Childhood nostalgia. This tape is from, I would guess, early 2000s, late 90s, 2001. That's going to be the sweet spot for a lot of these. It's before uh, DVDs were mainstream. And so a lot of these, like, I don't know if Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase is on uh, DVD, but I do know that it's kind of in demand on VHS. Next up, right here, the Star Wars Trilogy, the box set. If you can find this new, you're doing pretty good. Uh, but still, as a box set together, it's going to ship, you know, I don't know for how much money it is. But uh, on Amazon FBA, it still is a profitable DVD. I'm sorry, VHS. They're not DVDs. Next one, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone with never seen before footage. Ooh! It's the same type of deal. Nostalgic videos. Uh, it's not going to make a bunch of money, but again, as you can see here, it's making some money. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, it's a black diamond. Okay, it is a black diamond. They're not all worthless, but they're not worth the kind of money you're used to seeing. It's worth uh, a lot less. You're going to see right here how much it's worth. And that's, again, the FBA cost. So it's the cost, the profit is with me sending it in a box um, at 30 cents a pound. So that's uh, like a full box of DVDs, or sorry, VHS tapes, basically. I'm so used to selling DVDs. Uh, that I call them that, but remember, every time I mis make a mistake and call them a DVD, I know they're not DVDs. You don't have to correct me, they're VHS tape. More Mary-Kate and Ashley. Switching goals with Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Who else is on here? Let's see, anybody we would know? Patrick Williams? No, that's the music. He's not even an actor. Oh, Alexi Lalas! He's a soccer player. I think that's how you say it. Uh, this was a bit earlier, so it's like mid-90s. But again, like I said, they fell. Ignore that. Uh, American and Ashley DVD is not easy to find. This one's really great. The next one, Lilo and Stitch on VHS. This is like 2002, 2003 or 4. Oh boy, they don't even say on the back here. I'll find it on Amazon or eBay or whatever or Wikipedia. Uh, again, this probably, for someone who doesn't have a DVD player, or for someone who has a giant VHS collection, or someone who has a cabin with only a VCR, they're going to want this. It's a great movie. Uh, again, not worth a huge amount of money, but still good enough. More Scooby-Doo! These Scooby-Doo uh, videos, VHS tapes, I would think have not been transitioned to, uh, to DVD. I think that, again, you know, I'll double check afterwards. But there's something just nostalgic and fun about, remember, like, oh, when I was a kid, I watched this, and I want my kid to watch it, or my nephew, or my neighbor, or anyone I know who's young to have the same experience of watching these uh, three drug-addled teenagers and a dog find ghosts on a grainy VHS tape. This one's a fun one. Thomas in his first movie, but before we go any further, who is that? Not him. That's Alec Baldwin. This is Alec Baldwin. And uh, Mara Wilson, the, uh, at this time, young girl from Matilda. Thomas in his first movie. 
again this is the kind of weird thing that's not really being released that often back on DVD next up the fully restored fun and fancy free VHS tape the original animated masterpiece uh, the 50th anniversary of it Wow this might be worth what it is because it's the anniversary or maybe just because it's not again easy to find on DVD that's what we are looking for things that were not released again on DVD the only place they exist is on you guessed it VHS tape and finally Disney's Pete's Dragon this is a very old one you can tell by looking at it, like wow what is this from like 1975 it's not but uh, it's not that old but it is again they're killing me with the no dates on the back of here that's the good thing about DVDs is they have the dates usually if we look inside open it up with one hand you're gonna want to test these as well uh, it looks like it's in okay condition but sometimes if these get caught in DVD or, uh, uh, VCRs the tape the magnetic tape here will get coiled up and, and wrinkled and it won't play back fine uh, and so that's kind of like um, a trap almost you're not gonna want to watch every single one of these DVDs right or some VHS tapes God I can't I can't say it you're not gonna want to watch every single one of them uh, so what you mostly want to do is look to make sure there's no body or cosmetic damage and then just give it a play watch the first five ten minutes and if that's okay you're probably in a, a good it's probably a safe bet that the entire tape works because if you think about it when someone who has a broken VCR plays a VHS tape they don't play the entire thing in the broken machine it goes in there the tape jams up and then it ruins the first like two minutes of the video unless for some stupid reason they wanted to watch like from the 25 minute mark in which case you're screwed but like that's gonna happen so rarely I think it's probably a safe bet just to you know spot test the first five ten minutes you can even fast forward and look for those weird terrible grains across the screen the um the little bees or, or whatever it is flying across that's what I called when I was a kid and that's it uh, you know not the biggest money makers but again if you have a cache of DVHS tapes <laughs> or you see some at a garage sale uh, you don't want to fall under the uh, the illusion that okay they're worth a billion dollars because they're not but by the same token you don't want to dismiss them as being worthless because some VHS tapes do have money and if they're free two bucks a pop at 25 VHS tapes that could be a, a significant rise in your daily income. Think of it like that. Hope this video helped. If you like it and you like my glasses falling down my face, please subscribe, like the video, comment. See you guys later.